Ayy, sitting like a boss, bring the workers out Press on the exhaust, we be skirting now No, we not the same, what you talking about? Got me all up in your mentions, must have heard around How that sound, yeah, that sound good, tell them break it down I so Wendy's in your town, don't forget the dollar sign How that sound, yeah, that sound good, tell them get in line Hold it down, hold it down, came up from the under What's up guys, this is Casey from Casey's Customs And today I'm gonna be reviewing the cheapest wheel tubs I could find on the internet Wheel tubs, trailer fenders, just any kind of fender I was looking at. Um, I'm trying to do wheel tubs in the back of this 51 Chevy truck. I saw some I kind of liked at like Tractor Supply, but they were small, you know, they were real tiny. So I figured I'd get online and see if I could find something. I ended up finding a pretty good deal. These were 50 bucks, 50 bucks for the pair. Um, one side, as you can see, it has a, a flat side and also a rounded side. Um, they're huge. They're like, I think it was I think it was 30 inches by like 15 or something like that. I'll put the link to the uh, to the exact, the exact ones I bought in the bottom of this video. But uh, they're they're pretty damn big. I mean these would be perfect if you're running a monster tire or something like that. These are way too big for what I need. I'm gonna actually cut them down. I only need like a like a four inch five inch lip. So I'm gonna cut these down. You can get these with one of the sides already filled in too. Um, it was about twice the price, but you're still talking. You know, hundred dollars or whatever it would be. Uh, the only problem is the only side I could find that was filled in was the flat side, and I don't really like that as much, especially with this old truck. I'd rather have the uh, contour. So I'm going to go ahead and fill these in myself. But I'm pretty happy so far. They're 16 gauge, which is pretty damn heavy duty, and uh, two of them for 50 bucks is hard to beat. So let's get to cutting them up. Check them out. Oh, also these are not galvanized steel. This is just raw steel. You can see the oil on it. Some of them uh, I was looking at were galvanized. Obviously, you don't want to be well galvanized. So. can buy them with that piece already in the piece that I welded in um, on one side so if I would have done that I would have just had to cut them down you know because obviously I didn't need a full 12 inch wide um, tub back here my frame you know the bed only goes three or four inches before it hits the frame so that's all the room I needed and that's all we needed anyway you know this this has given my customer like an extra five inches to run you know a lot bigger tires than he's already running but 
Um, they do sell these where this is already filled in. Uh, I probably would have went ahead and bought those if I had to do this over. Not because, you know, there was anything wrong with these. It's just the customer didn't care whether this edge was rolled or not. Um, the ones where they're filled in, it's just a hard edge. It's a, it's a, it's a 90 degree instead of a rolled edge. He doesn't care because he has a tonneau cover on this. So that probably could have saved me, you know, an hour or so of work uh, or more, actually, if I would have just bought that closed in. But it looks better, so I'm, I'm not upset about it. But that's something you can do. I think that they were a little bit more expensive to already be covered in, but it would have saved me, you know, whatever, a couple hours of work. So however much extra it is, if it was 10 or $20 a piece, it still would have been, you know, money ahead, obviously. But... Overall, I'm real happy with them, and uh, I mean they're great. I, I was the the slosh tubs that everybody runs that I was looking for. I think they were like two hundred and fifty dollars or three hundred dollars, and they were fiberglass. So I, you know, I, I definitely don't want to run that shit. <laughs> you know, it would have been a real pain in the ass, and it was super expensive. Thank you guys very much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff they tell you to do at the end of videos, and uh, check out some more of my other videos. Um, if you're new here, uh, I have a hot rod shop and I build a bunch of crazy different things. Um, old cars, mostly, mostly metal work, um, some crazy stuff in between like a, you know, a jet ski and a kid's sandbox being combined into a tugboat. Sometimes I do dumb stuff like that, so that's always entertaining. But uh, check out some more of my other videos if you've got some time. Peace. Must have heard around how that sound, yeah, that sound good. Tell them.